In Chapter 4 of Boruto 2 Blue Vortex, the Tentails evolved into Shinju entities, and we later found out that they copied the personality traits of individuals who got bitten by the Claw Grimes. Now, what we didn't find out was whose personality got copied and why, which is why I'm making this video. You see, I believe that the Shinju known as Jura is actually a clone of Kawaki Uzumaki. And look, I know this is a wild thing to say, but hear me out before you make your final judgement. Now, to understand why this makes perfect sense, we first need to outline some important facts we know about these beings so far. One being the fact that we know for certain that these beings were created using the chakra of someone who got turned into a tree. This is confirmed to be the case by Ada in the recent chapter when she said that the chakra of the people who were devoured and turned into a tree created these guys. Which was proven to be the case by the Sasuke and Bug Shinju having one thing in common which is that the individuals they stole their physical appearance from are now trees. Not only that, this supposed clone of Sasuke also has the ability to use Chidori, that too with his dominant left hand. And the story even goes out of its way to imply this by code referring to the entity as Bug and placing emphasis on Boruto reacting to the reveal of the Sasuke Shinju. We can also use that same logic to come to the conclusion that the female Shinju came from Moegi, which means comparing their shared physical traits and Moegi being revealed as a tree in chapter 5. In addition to using the same earth style gravity technique, Moegi used an Amado to restrain Boruto. So the consistency is there when it comes to them sharing physical traits, having similar abilities, and their counterparts being part tree. Now the similarities doesn't even end there because in chapter 5 it's revealed that they share an even deeper connection, in that the Shinju seem to possess an innate goal or instinct to consume the person closest to the being they copied. Jura believes that this is a side effect of them evolving differently thus changing their instinctual drive, and also that they should give in to it which should in time reveal their personal targets. This led to the female Shinju named Matsuri revealing that she has the urge to consume Konohamaru, who is the childhood friend of Moegi, the person she copied. The Bug Shinju also revealed that his desire is to consume Ada, who is the person Bug loved the most due to the effects of her charm ability. Similarly, the Sasuke Shinju known as Hidari revealed that his desire is to consume Sarada Uchiha, the daughter of the person he cloned. So what they all have in common is that they want to consume the person the cloned individual cared for the most. This then leads us to Jura, who mysteriously didn't have his counterpart revealed as yet, and that was done for a reason. You see, how I came to the conclusion that he was a clone of Kawaki was by using the same logic employed for the other entities. Only in this case we're going to work backwards in a sense, because in this chapter it was revealed that his instinctual desire is to consume Naruto Uzumaki, which means that the person he copied had to have had a deep connection to Naruto. Now of course you could just say that a lot of people love Naruto right, he's the most popular figure in the ninja world, so this doesn't really mean anything. Well that's when you'd employ a simple thing known as physical appearance, which would be the second shared attribute. Now that would then narrow it down to Kawaki and Jigen. This is mainly based on the fact that Zura's body composition and hairstyle resembles theirs, similar to how the other Shinju resemble their counterparts. Now some would mention Jonin number 616 who got bitten by one of the claw grimes, mainly due to the fact that he has a more Hawk similar to Kawaki, but the issue is that while he does have a similar hairstyle, his body composition is completely different, along with the fact that he doesn't have the ability to fly. You see, what a lot of people missed in chapter 4 is that every Shinju displayed an ability the person they cloned possess. This was shown by Matsuri using Earth Release and Hidari using Shidori. Now the bug Shinju didn't display any unique ability since Bug himself didn't have any. He simply used the same body modification technique the Tentels has shown in the past, which makes perfect sense. Now when it comes to Jura, the only ability he displayed was the ability to fly, which wasn't employed by any of the other Shinju. Now of course you guys could simply say that maybe they can fly but just decided not to, but when you take into context the purpose of showing each of their unique abilities narratively speaking, which was the hint towards who got cloned, it then makes more sense that this is just the ability of the person he cloned. This then narrows down the field to Kawaki since he's the only person who looks similar to Jura whilst also possessing the ability to fly, as seen in chapter 1. Now this then leads us to the how. 
how were they able to clone Kawaki when he wasn't turned into a tree? Well, this all goes back to why they turned into a tree and how the Shinju were formed. You see, we're all going under the assumption that you have to be turned into a tree in order to be copied, when that was never explicitly stated. What we do know is that the chakra the claw grams consumed by devouring humans was then used to create the Shinju. This was said by Ada herself after listening to their conversation. So what this implies is that the act of turning into a tree isn't what's necessary. What's needed is the consumption of chakra. In fact, it's also implied in the conversation between Sarda and Jonin 617 that the Clograms turning into a tree is actually a defect of them consuming the chakra of non-Otsutsukis. So this simply means that if a Clogram consumed the chakra of an Otsutsuki, it wouldn't turn into a failed divine tree. And I would assume that they also wouldn't turn into a real divine tree since they would also need to consume the Otsutsuki themselves for that to happen. This then brings us to chapter 2 when Kawaki was attacked and held down by one of the Clograms, which is likely when some of his chakra was absorbed. Now some would rightfully argue that it didn't bite him, so how did it absorb his chakra? Well that's where the Renegon comes in. You see, this is the only clogram we've ever seen manifest the Renegon, and it only happened after Kawaki interacted with it. This likely means that the Tentals was able to sense that he was an Otsutsuki, then transmitted more power and its Renegon into the clogram closest to him. Not to mention the fact that it started to speak, showing early signs of consciousness. It wouldn't be wild to believe that the main Renegon of the Tentals has the ability to absorb chakra, which would then pass down to the claw grime that possessed it. So in this case, it likely didn't need to bite him since it had the Renegon to absorb his chakra by simply holding on to him as seen with any Renegon user who had that ability. Oh, and by the way, this isn't anything new. The White Zetsu who were created by the prior Tentals had the ability to copy someone's personality and physical appearance by simply touching them and absorbing their chakra. So that might even be the case here as well. Now there is a difference between the two techniques, which is that the Shinju also possess the memories and abilities unlike the white zetsu so maybe it's a more advanced form of the technique or something totally different with that being said some might argue that the clogram was destroyed by kawaki and didn't turn into a tree so how did the tentels get the chakra well for one we don't know for sure that you need to turn into a tree to send the chakra to the tentels especially since the story implies that turning into a tree is a defect What's more likely is that the claw grimes are able to transmit the chakra to the tentels using the claw marks on their bodies, which are also on the tentels as well. So as you can see, it all makes sense if you really wanted to. Kawaki out of all of the possibilities makes the most sense. Jura matches his personality the most, he possesses Kawaki's ability to fly, and shares the same physical characteristics, along with sharing similar mannerisms such as Kawaki standing with his hands in his pockets, which was also imitated by Jura as well. Not to mention his instinctual desire to consume Naruto, the person Kawaki loves the most. It lines up perfectly. Now I did say in a prior video that Jura is likely a clone of Jigen, which is still possible. This is due to the possibility of Ko's defective karma containing Jigen's chakra, which could have been infused with the claw marks as well. You also have the similar characteristics and Jigen having the ability to fly due to being otsutsuki fine. So it does line up to some extent. The only problem with it is that it requires way more leaps to get there. Along with the fact that Jigen had no relation to Naruto whatsoever, much less being the person Jigen loved the most. Though I guess you could say maybe the desire of the Shinju isn't about love, but strong feelings instead. So that way you could maybe say Jigen hated Naruto the most for taking his son away from him. Then again, who exactly is Jigen? I'm almost 100% certain that Ishiki was controlling his mind using some jutsu the entire time all of this happened, so he shouldn't really have any connection to Kawaki or Naruto whatsoever. And this is why it requires a way bigger leap than saying Jira is Kawaki, and I think that makes more sense anyways. Now I have mentioned this in prior videos, but I'm pretty sure someone maybe haven't seen them, and they're probably gonna bring it up in the comment section about the Renegon itself, so I just wanna address it again. I believe that the Renegon used by the Shinju and the clogram that held down Kawaki came from the Tentels, not Sasuke. And the reason why I believe that to be the case is that it makes way more sense that the Tentels is able to clone its own Renegon and maybe even use the Outer Path ability to transfer its Renegon to other people. So either of those two options makes perfect sense to me. Now the big issue here is that the Tentels supposedly has a Reni Sharengan, right? So it has the Tomuis in its Renegon. But I believe that the Tentels has the ability to deactivate the Tomuis in its Renegon similar to Sasuke, which normally happens when he's low on Chakra. And as we saw in Chapter 4, the Tentels 
was in a desiccated state because code used its chakra to create over a thousand kilograms, so it does make sense that it was low on chakra. And in any case, Renegon is a derivative of the Rene Sharengan and so is the Sharengan itself, so it does make sense that a Renegon can come from a Rene Sharengan, you know? With that being said, let me hear your thoughts on the video itself, I think I'm rambling here at this point. Do you guys think this guy is a clone of Kawaki, Jigen, maybe even Gara? I even saw Iruka yesterday, and that makes sense love-wise, but Iruka can't fly, you know, so I don't think that's the case. So let me hear your thoughts in the comment section, drop a like if you liked the video and subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.